Hello, and welcome to another episode of Behind the Tweet. I have another tweet to go into with the backstory. Here it is. Me, pick up your clothes. Five-year-old, my leg is broken. Me, I just saw you running around. Five, it's only broken sometimes. So, my five-year-old might be a hypochondriac. She thinks everything is broken or bleeding. Any slight scratch, any bump, any cut. She thinks there is just going to be blood pouring out and she needs a band-aid. Like, all kids want band-aids. It's the highest uh, form of joy in their lives. Like, oh, I have a wound. Now I get this cool band-aid, which we might be out of. They, we exhaust our supply of cartoon band-aids very quickly. Although the bachelor party the other day, that's all we had was somebody messed up their hand and we had to give them like a, a Lion King band-aid, which I think is pretty cool. They did not, so clearly they have bad taste. You wanna come up here on my lap? No, I'm just gonna steal some paper. Waffle is getting some paper to draw. That was another tweet today about how she promised she wasn't going to draw on the walls today. It's very conditional. She's had some issues lately. She gets the pencil in her hand and she just can't control herself. She has to draw all over the walls, even though there is, there is no part of her that thinks that's a good idea or allowed. So her going to get this paper is solid progress. Um, let's hope it's not a ruse and we don't end up with a bunch of pencil all over the walls. Uh, but back to Lucy. So today she was walking down the stairs and every few steps she would take a fake limp. She's, oh, my leg is broken. And then it would go away for a few minutes. And then she'd be, and she'd be fine again. And then it would be rebroken. And the breaks seemed to line up with... I mean, to sharpen it? I, I can't sharpen it in the middle of the video. It's going to be too loud, okay? All right, I'm going to sharpen it in the middle of the video, guys. Look how sharp that is. There you go. Don't draw on the walls. This video is a mess. <laughs> so she she conditionally has a broken leg and it lines up exactly with when I need to pick up her to pick up clothes or pick up chores or brush her teeth or whatever it's going on. Things that really aren't necessarily leg related. Like any slight leg pain that she has is a broken leg. Now, mind you, her leg didn't actually hurt today, but she bumped it yesterday and she just remembered today that it was supposed to be broken. And she remembered about the time that I needed her to pick something up. So uh, keep her in your thoughts and your prayers because this leg break seems to come and go uh, depending on what's going on in the house. If, if only real bones healed that quickly. Guess it's good they don't break that easily. That would be the flip side of that. Coming back. She doesn't know what she's up to. Another piece of paper already? Holy cow, you're a drawing machine. I don't know if you guys can even see her running around in the background there. I should probably go monitor her to see what she has drawn on or destroyed. But she's only been gone a few seconds. Uh, but as you know, for a three-year-old, that's enough time to destroy the entire house. Uh, Waffle does not suffer from the mysterious leg breaks quite as often as Lucy does. Lucy seems to have the most fragile bones. So maybe next time she breaks a leg, we'll have to offer to cut off her leg. We have made that offer before and she always declines. Uh, we could also take her to the emergency room and get it casted up, but that seems like a very expensive way to teach a lesson. I don't think they do that. Maybe we'll find a fake cast or something. Uh, we'll see. Maybe she's just setting herself up to play doctor, to be a doctor someday, be a veterinarian. She's just that concerned about bone health. Who knows? Let's put a positive spin on it. Let's hope the hypochondria goes away because it's adorable when a five-year-old thinks they broke their leg and they're really fine. It's not so adorable if a 35-year-old person does it. So let's hope this goes away. We'll see. Anyway, I'm going to go check on Waffle, make sure my walls are still unblemished. Catch you next time. Please hit that subscribe button. It keeps me going. I do this almost every day.